got the bull bar on here. I've got the four AV lights up front. We've got a big winch to get this thing out of any trouble that we'd ever get into. This is probably the lowest, most like compact camper you'll see right now. On the back, we've got a rigged mega fit ultra swing. I'm not sure if it's a mega swing or mega something, but this is their ultra swing. Usually uses bike rack for like local rides and having what we did, we drove a lot and we did some pretty rough roads. This bike rack's just not made for that. So, um, and bring this table down, which is pretty cool. You don't have to necessarily get in the camper to set things here if you don't need to. But this is it, dude. <laughs> no, so this is uh, this is the camper. So you like all your food, dry food, bowls, cups, all that stuff down there. I've had opportunities to like change the setup and I built it this way just because it's just it just works for me and like what I do. There are systems where I would go a lot bigger. Hey, what's up? My name is AJ. I go by Photo Runner on Instagram. Um, this is my 2022 Prospector uh, PXL or Prospector XL. Um, and it's built off of a Ram platform 3500. I've got a four wheel camper, Woolrich four wheel camper here in the background or on the back of the truck, not background, um, that we use this rig pretty much for obviously camping. Uh, and then we use it for work as well. So I'm a photographer. I go out to remote locations, often shoot for brands, and this is this is what we use. You're not so. naked, right? <laughs> no. Okay. I hope you're still rolling, because yeah, that's yeah. great. <laughs> so that's Connor, if you get in here at all. Um, this truck is actually built from AEV. It's pretty much everything that you see on this truck that I'm gonna walk you through is just, just how it comes from their facility. Um, it's an uplift kit, so everything on it except for the camper. Um, I didn't really do much. So I bought this thing from Glendale Ram in Glendale and got it outfitted, got the bull bar on here. I've got the four AV lights up front. We've got a big winch to get this thing out of any trouble that we'd ever get into. Um, so it's a 16.5 winch, big bumper. This is all from AV, like I said before. Um, some fog lights from Baja Designs that are in there. Um, yeah, pretty much it up front just because this is, I don't know, one of their packages that you can get from AEV themselves. And that's uh, American Expedition Vehicles. They're out of Michigan. The Prospector XL, XL means 40. So these are 40 inch tires on this truck. They've moved the axle forward, AEV did, uh, move the axle forward. They've cut the fenders and added these extra fenders here. So you can fit this big of a tire on this truck. Um, it's on a fairly small lift, to be honest. Um, it's only a three inch lift to fit 40s, which is pretty rad. Um, it's a Bilstein 8100s on the truck. They do have reservoirs, which is pretty cool. So this is a bigger, beefier kit here. As you move forward, it's a crew cab, four doors. But I've taken out the rear seats and added a goose gear seat delete, 60%, basically the way I've built this thing out. That drawer will pull out here in a second. I'll show you. Um, this pulls out somewhat organized storage so it doesn't just go all over the place in the truck, which is pretty cool. I love it. I think the system's super rad. Um, and it depends on what you want to like put on top of here, but this is now like a flat deck that have like, you know, little loops and things that you can put everywhere so you can strap stuff down. So if you had a fridge or a goal zero unit, totally will fit up here. You can strap it down so it doesn't move anywhere. This is rad because you have like extra compartments everywhere here and here. Um, but you do get rid of your seat. So if you have more than three people, it's kind of a bust. But if you do what I do and I usually use this work or truck strictly for work, it's great because it's just usually a co-pilot and myself. Um, so it's pretty cool. The front of the four-wheel camper is on each side. You can either do water, um, gas. On the other side is gas. But I'll carry one water, one gas. So this is a diesel truck. Uh, I carry gas for the motos. I have motorcycles that we have. So Alucab cab 270 awning. Um, love it. I don't think I use it enough. Awnings, bro. <laughs> Connor would agree. I don't, I don't use it enough, but it's rad to have if you really need it. Around to the rear. Again, the bumpers, they're all AV. So that's straight from them. You can get this upfit or purchase this upfit from a AV dealer. Um, and it, the truck comes like this. It's pretty insane. I love it. It's pretty sick. On the back, we've got a rigged mega fit ultra swing. I'm not sure if it's a mega swing or mega something, but 
This is their Ultra Swing. It's made for a 40 inch tire. It does not move. It's pretty sick. It's solid. You can put a bike rack, as you can see on the back of this thing. Um, don't mind the jank <laughs> like stuff we got going on. We ran into a, a little uh, mechanical on the road and we'll be probably switching this bike rack out here pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty sick because it does this. Check this out, ready? I'm gonna pull it and swing it. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> E-bikes will destroy this bike rack. It, yeah, pretty much. And you're right on that, Mo. You love e-bikes, dude. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it definitely, we had the Levo on the end, on the, which was probably stupid to begin with, but it definitely tweaked this thing. And it just, it just, I usually use this bike rack for like local rides and having what we did, we drove a lot and we did some pretty rough roads. This bike rack's just not made for that. So we found that out, which is great. No problem, we'll fix it. But swing out works super cool. cool. Yeah, dude. Like. Absolutely. It's so cool because like at camp, you can swing this thing all the way out if this strap wasn't there um, and bring this table down, which is pretty cool. You don't have to necessarily get in the camper to set things here if you don't need to. Um, also cool for like camera equipment or working on the laptop outside the camper, which is I thought was pretty neat. Um, so yeah, it's rad. It's beefy to hold a 150 pound tire. It's pretty sick. So but this is the camper we decided to put back here. It's pretty rad. Um, it's got a heater, it's got all the amenities for when we're going, you know, off grid. And it's just really nice to get out of the elements when you need to. So if there's wind or snow or anything like that, we're able to climb in this thing and stay warm. Work, which is a huge thing for me, is being able to go inside and like be comfortable and not just like work off the back like I have before. This is probably the lowest, most like compact camper you'll see right now, or just in general. A lot of the other campers are a bit higher and, they, and then they're thicker. Um, obviously it's up right now. I don't know if you got a photo of it when the camper was down, but it's just not as bulky and it's not as big and it works really well. Right now you can probably hear it, but this is the heater inside. So propane heater. Uh, the other one is a hot water heater right here. Uh, and then this is just the fill. So fill water. This is the, sh no, sorry. This is where we charge if we were to do like RV, like go in there and like actually plug in. And then this is the outside shower. So this is very useful if you have a kid and he loves to be at the beach and get all the sand off of him. That is super rad to have outside. So we have a shower outside and we have a shower inside the camper, uh, which is pretty rad. This right here is for extra solar. Um, oh, I didn't even talk about that, but we have solar up top. We have 185 uh, watts of solar. And then you can actually plug in down here an extra you know, panel or something like that that you want to plug into. Uh, it's a mess in here. So let's check it out. Yeah, I'll turn some lights on as we go up. <clears throat> Turn some lights on for you, bud. Come on up. Whoa. Oh, watch your head, see? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> no, it's tight for sure. This is it, dude. No, so this is uh this is the camper. So you've got a stove, you've got a sink, you've got heat, you have or I have 300 amp hours of power. I'll show you that in here in a second. Um got a 2000 watt inverter, so we can do a lot in here. Huge fridge, 135 liters. Massive, massive. I've got, behind me, I've got it in full size mode, but you can go all the way to a king. Um, what I'm sitting on right now is the bunk. So Connor or whoever, or myself, if I have my kid and my wife, I'll sleep here, they'll sleep up there. Uh, it also turns into a dinette table. I just don't have it in that shape right now. And then it also has a shower that's underneath me as well. So the curtain will go up here and you can actually shower, take hot water, cold water showers, whatever you want to do. Plenty of storage, storage, so you like, all your food, dry food, bowls, cups, all that stuff down there. This right here, coffee maker, chairs, anything that you want, right? Um, I'll get into that in a second. Little trash bag here. This is like just dirty stuff. Like, I don't know, I've got a wood carrier, some shoes, some other things I'd probably put like that I don't have in here. Probably like the shower nozzle, things like that. Um, silverware goes in here. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And then if you want to check this out, this is where the power is. So 300 amp hour. Battery from Relion, Relion, Relion. Not sure how you say it exactly. Um, all powered by Red Arc. We actually put all of this stuff in, so this is a pretty big upgrade for this camper. It doesn't come this way at all. So we all put your switches are here too. Uh, some of the switches for like the outside exterior lights are right there, and the refrigerator fan. We we'll also put this system in here. This is the Red Vision by Red Arc, which is pretty sick. So it gives you all the displays. 
This again is an upgrade that doesn't come this way. Um, and this is our inverter um, power control module. Turns on the inverter when we need it. This is a propane stove. Oh, yeah, not induction. So propane stove here, oh, which is super warm. Makes my hands feel good. Cute little sink. <laughs> this is insulation? Yeah, so that's their like winter weather pack, which in my opinion isn't good at all. Oh. Yeah, which is not. Nice. Plain and simple. A little mirror right here. Yeah. And then if you lift that up, there's more storage. Like right this cabinet. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, pretty cool. The fridge come with it? Yeah, fridge comes with it. Here, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So like, <clears throat> I've had opportunities to like change the setup. And I built it this way just because it's just it just works for me and like what I do. There are systems where I would go a lot bigger in a way, like if I had another kid or if I needed more room inside, like the layouts are different. And like, since I've had this one, I've realized I was like, oh, I wish I kind of had like a side in it. But at the same time, I keep going back to this and I'm like, dude, this is so rad. Like, and I travel mostly by myself or just one more person the most. And it's perfect for that. Like you got a small bunk on the bottom. I got my sleeping quarters up there. We can literally set up the table. And if I had that set up, you'd see what I'm talking about. But like, you can set up the table. We can both work on our laptops. Um, download like all of our material and all the things and it's just it's just rad dude are there different more modern campers out there absolutely you know they're definitely a little more efficient too um but i'm not looking to change anytime soon just because this works it's sick i love it how do people yeah. find you uh so you can find me online on uh what is it instagram those cool things photo runner f-o-t-o-r-n-r -O -O -R. uh you can find me on youtube i haven't posted a video in forever but same thing photo runner there and yeah, that's how you find me. Or unless you want my phone number, social, whatever. Awesome. Let's drive an hour to camp. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Cheers.